Welcome to the Telegraph Studios. I'm Louise People, and today we're going to be discussing pensions and the forthcoming changes. I'm joined by Patrick Mill, Managing Director of Alliance Trust Savings. Hi, Patrick. Good afternoon, Louise. So, we know there's changes coming in April 2015. Regarding pensions, regarding the income, we're going to draw from those. Now, what do we need to be aware of? You're right. Enormous changes coming in April 2015. Probably the biggest changes in the last 100 years in terms of retirement income. The biggest thing is it's giving you control. It's allowing you to control how you take your income. What are the most important questions that we should be asking? I mean, I've talked about the fact that it's giving you control, but it's also giving you res your responsibility. It's down to you to make the right choices for your retirement. So when you're looking at pensions, three key things, I think. Firstly, does it facilitate your investment choice? What do you want to invest in? Can you do it with that pension provider? Secondly, what's the charges they're going to apply? You know, different companies uh, charge in different ways. Is it right for you? And can I just stop you there and understand how do we know if we're getting a good deal or a bad deal? If you've not done this before, it, it seems like a huge thing to take on. It can make a massive difference. You know, it can make thousands of pounds worth of difference choosing between one pension provider and another. You need to do the research. Look at different pension providers. Look at what they're offering you, how they charge. People charge in different ways. Mm -hmm. For instance, some companies charge a percentage of the uh, investment. Some uh, charge, like ourselves, on a flat fee basis. So look at what is best for you. So you're saying the flat fee basis is better? Not necessarily. Um, it's it's very individual. You know, we, we believe in, in that pricing structure and it's right for a number of people, but it's, a, it's individual. It's about what's right for you. You talked about flexibility. Mm. Will my provider offer complete flexibility? Um, pension providers will try and offer you as much flexibility as they can. You know, obviously the changes have been announced recently and we're all working hard to ensure that that's available from the 6th of April. But you need to check out with your pension provider whether they're going to offer you all the flexible options that are available n now under the, the, the new rules. Now, do you expect the majority of pensioners to blow all their money on luxury cars, wonderful holidays? I mean, why shouldn't they? Um, yeah, they were fantastic headlines at the time, weren't they? Lamborghinis and mm. Ferraris. and uh, uh, But in reality, I, I really don't think that will be the case. You know, people that have saved for their retirement have sensibly saved, and I think they'll be sensible in terms of their choice of, of retirement But they've income. just been sensible... The majority of their lives why not have fun they deserve to have fun it's a really good question but it makes a massive difference to the income that you, you can get so if you've got two hundred thousand mm -hmm. pound for instance um, at retirement that would give you somewhere near a pension of about 10 grand a year go and buy a lamborghini for a hundred thousand um, that could drop your pension by half you could be left with five thousand a year if you think about how long people live now if you're 60, your life expectancy is 87, so that's 27 years at half the pension you could get. You know, Lamborghinis are great, I'm sure, I haven't driven one. I'm sure they're great, but they don't pay the gas bills. How can I broader the range of investments? Um, investment choice is really important mm -hmm. in a pension because, you know, if you invest well and the returns are better, it'll give you a better pension. Um, the most popular now is a self-invested pension uh, plan, a SIP. Um, which offers you broad investment choice. So ours, for instance, offers you investment trusts, ETFs, as well as funds and stocks and shares. So, you know, it gives you a broader spectrum of investments to invest your pension money what in. What about risk with those? Okay, of course, there, there are risks with a number of, of those investments, and it's down to you to, to you know, guide yourself in terms of um, the risk that you're willing to accept. If you don't feel comfortable in doing that yourself, you should see an advisor. Now you're talking about that, and, and it sounds like you're targeting this at an audience of 40 plus, 50 plus. It, when you're younger, you don't really think about pensions. You're, you're right. The younger people don't think about pensions, but they need to. It's about responsibility. The sooner you can save, 
the longer that you can save, the more you can save, the bigger the pension pot. You know, if you save, you know, £100 a month at 25... Oh, hang on. At 25, you've just got your first job. You might be paying off some debts from, from college studying. Yeah. Are you going to get a house or a flat? How can you think about your pension at that age? It, that's fair, and it's difficult, and I understand that. It is difficult. But, but whatever you can save mm. is of real benefit because, you know, that money stays invested for longer, so it will have a more dramatic effect on your pension. Now, how can I have broader range of um, investment options? Investment options it is critical to how good the pension is going to be um, mm -hmm. uh, when you retire. So, you know, the growth of your underlying investments are important. You know, one of the most popular vehicles now is a self-invested personal pension. That allows... What's that abbreviated? Uh, SIPs. A SIP. Sorry. SIP. Um, and that um, gives you a broad uh, you know, choice. So for instance, the Alliance Trust Savings SIP gives you choice to ETFs, investment trusts, stocks and shares, as well as funds. Um, so it is, it is individual about what you want to invest mm -hmm. in, but, but SIPs are a very good vehicle for, for saving for retirement. Now, if we put all our money into one place, I'd be quite nervous about okay. that. Okay, um, I understand that, and especially with some of the things that have happened over the past mm. few years. Um, you know, you can diversify, you mm -hmm. can have your pension with, with a number of providers, but often that can increase your charges. Um, part of your you know, research needs to be about the company you're investing in, making sure it's a company that will be around to pay out your pension when you get to retirement age. So how can Alliance help us? Give me a step-by-step -step okay. process. Um, we provide um, self-invested personal pension mm -hmm. SIPs, um, and uh, obviously there's a lot of information on our website, um, and it's a really good starting point for anyone who wants to start uh, pensions or have got a pension and wants to look at alternatives. Um, and clearly you can apply and do everything online, but we do offer a telephone um, option so people that don't feel so comfortable um, online um, can uh, you know, speak to one of our customer service advisors that will help them through that. Now we don't offer advice and if people don't feel comfortable in terms of making all those choices um, themselves, then they do need to see an advisor. Now, what if I've already got a pension pot and I've got an advisor, what well, why would I want to bring it to you okay. and how would I bring it to you? Okay, um, you know, one of the first steps that I would say to anyone is review what you've got. Mm -hmm. Is that going to deliver what you want in retirement? You know, is, is it invested in the best investments? Is it the best charging structure for you? Is it giving you the flexibility that you require in retirement? If you've got an advisor, speak to your advisor. Um, if you decide that Alliance Trust Savings or another provider is better for you, then you can transfer your pension pot from your current provider to your new provider. Now, there's always talk about ISAs. ISAs versus pensions, what should um, we do? I'm not going to sit on the fence, but both. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that they both have got their place, and I think that for future savings, um, you know, most people w would require both. ISA, I see as your short-term savings, you know, mm -hmm. saving for a deposit for a house, shorter term because um, you can get at all your money um, tax-free. Okay. Pensions are longer term, there's much more incentive to do it, um, to, to pay into a pension, but you can't take it until you're 55. However, the new changes mean that you've got total flexibility when you get there. So probably for the majority of people, um, ISAs and pensions um, are suitable vehicles for their future plans. What are the most important things that we should be thinking about over the next few months? Do something. Okay. You need to be doing something. You, you can't bury your head in the sand. It's really important. So the first thing is to review what you've got. Mm -hmm. You know, most people have got some sort of pension plans in place. Is that going to deliver what it needs to deliver? A lot of people don't understand these things, though. It's not yeah. the easiest topic to, to drill down and really get to grips with. I agree. I agree. Talk to your pe uh, pension provider. Yes. They will give you a forecast of what you will receive at retirement. And how do we know? How do we know that then? Is it is it printed somewhere? They will send you a quotation. Okay. Um, so find out what you've got. Is that delivering what you require? Mm -hmm. If there's a shortfall, start to address that shortfall. Mm -hmm. Can you pay more? You know, think about a plan that allows you to make up that shortfall so that when you get to retirement, it delivers exactly what you want. And finally, pension planning, unfortunately, is just not a one-off event. You need to keep reviewing it.
your income will change, your lifestyle will change, your personal circumstances will change. You need to make sure that your pension plans are up to date, that it delivers exactly what you require when you get to retirement. Patrick Mill, thanks for your time. Thank you.